Hello, now we are going to hack this Ruby on Rails application. So you see in uh, this application we already have device installed and I have an admin user and a consumer. So two different roles and a consumer can edit his uh, own page so he can change his name and an admin can edit any user's page so he can change the name and the role of any user. And this is all set inside our user's controller. Here we authorize the admin or owner to the edit and update actions. So only the owner of the record or an admin can access the edit page and uh, pass something to the update. But here is the weak link, our update params. You see, uh, we permit both admins and current user to update both the name and the role, and we can exploit this. So here you see, I am logged in as a consumer, role is disabled, uh, but we can actually edit it. Uh, the easy way would be just to go to uh, the select and remove this uh, disabled feature and just make it admin. And you see update user and now I'm an admin. Of course, this is too straightforward and uh, let's try doing it in another way. Now I'll go back and make myself a consumer. Uh, and uh, you see there is no option to change the role. I'm not going to make it uh, uh, not disabled again. I'm just going to go to any of the fields. Here we have the name field, for example, and here we have the value. And I will just make the value uh, be something like admin. So value will be admin and the name of this param is going to be user role. So here I'm going to pass in uh, the admin as a param. I press update and again you see I have updated my role to admin. Uh, why is it possible? Uh, it is because our you know, because any user has the possibility to update the role param. So we should make it so that only admins have the possibility to update the role param and uh, the, well, the, the current user and the admin can update the name. How can we do this? Well, uh, the easy way would be to say if uh, the user is the current user, then we can update only the name and uh, if uh, the current user is an admin, we can update the name and the role. Let's see if something like this would work. Let's go to our admin first of all. I will go to any user, I will try to update the name, try to make him an admin. Okay, it works. Here I've just made this user an admin. I will go to the user. I will uh, uh, now I'm an admin, so I will first make myself not an admin anymore. Uh, okay, and now I will try to make myself an admin. So again, I'm going to uh, make myself an admin. I'll just remove this disabled and make myself an admin. Click update user and you see we have this error. When assigning attributes, you must pass a hash as an argument. This is an error because here in this uh, kind of conditional statement we should say return here and return here. Let's try once again. I will uh, try to update the role. So I'll just remove this disabled and try to make myself an admin. Update user. And did it work or not? No, you see, I'm still a consumer, I'm not an admin. And if we go into our console, we will see unpermitted parameter role. So I didn't manage to actually update the role. And uh, this way we didn't allow the user that is not an admin to update the role. Let's see if it works for the admin. I'll go into the admin interface uh, and uh, make this user not an admin anymore and add something to his name. Okay, so it worked. But you see here we have a lot of duplication. We have this return, params require permit name, and again name. So we could make it uh, work without uh, duplication. And how can we do it? Let's uh, make something like uh, a collection of parameters that will be uh, in increased in different cases. So let's say like uh, allowed, 
params. And we'll have an empty hash. And let's uh, add something to this empty hash uh, in some cases. So allowed params uh, plus equals, uh, uh, let's say, name if uh, user equals current user. And allowed params uh, plus role if uh, current user is an admin. And then in uh, our params require, we will uh, permit our allowed params like this. So it should work. And you see, we don't have any duplication like permit name here and permit name here, and we don't uh, duplicate this params require. We just have, uh, 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 yeah, actually an array that uh, uh, conditionally is uh, being added with additional params. So let's see if this works. I'll go to this browser. Here I have an admin. I'll try to edit this user. And it works. I'll go here. I'm a consumer. I will try to edit my name. And it worked. I will try to change my role. So I'll make it not disabled once again. Make myself an admin. And it didn't work. And again, I get this uh, unpermitted uh, param role. So it is a thing that you should also keep in mind of when uh, you have uh, different users with different roles that have access to the same uh, update action, to the same uh, list of allowed params. So here, what we do, we conditionally add uh, different uh, attributes to the params. And actually, this is mentioned in the Ruby on Rails strong uh, parameters documentation. So you can specialize this with per user checking of permissible attributes. So it is an important gotcha that you should uh, keep in mind when developing Ruby on Rails applications with user roles and authorization. Have a nice time coding. Goodbye.